Yankee Spring Training. First, your local news. New tonight, police catch an inmate on the run. CBS 46 talks with the deputy who tracked him down. The government banned this deadly herbal supplement. So what's it doing on store shelves right here in Atlanta? A miraculous survival story. A five-year-old alone in the wilderness after a car crash kills her mom. Plus, spring snow in Georgia? We've got your chilly storm tracker 46 forecast before the first commercial break. And good evening, I'm Stephanie Fisher. And I'm Tony Harris. A prominent Georgia doctor is at the center of an international sex scandal tonight. Russian police say he drugged young boys and then had sex with them at a hotel in St. Petersburg. CBS 46 has learned tonight there are fears he may have done the same thing here in Georgia. CBS 46's Lori Nixon brings us new disturbing details on a story you saw first on CBS 46. Lori. This very much is an ongoing investigation. We have learned tonight that one of the kids questioned in this case and who came forward to submit uh, information in this affidavit is just 10 years old. We've also learned that a 17-year-old who came forward says that after he was victimized, he was paid 1,000 rubles. Dr. Greg Crapardellis remains in federal custody in New York. Here in Gainesville, people are just trying to absorb it all. Shock, disbelief that something like that could be happening in our neighborhood. So Judy Allison echoes the feelings of so many people in Gainesville tonight. One of the city's most prominent doctors, Dr. Greg Capardellis, now the subject of this criminal complaint. In it, the 43-year-old anesthesiologist is accused of going to Russia to have sex with young boys. A security worker at this hotel became suspicious after seeing children entering the doctor's hotel room and notified St. Petersburg police. That investigation uncovered evidence that boys were being sexually exploited, videotaped, and photographed. Russian authorities then asked U.S. federal prosecutors to take over the case. We needed to move promptly because it was important to protect children. The doctor's home in Gainesville was searched and evidence was taken, including computers. Investigators have also seized photographs of the doctor with young boys. They say he fed them pills and then engaged them in sexual acts. Capardellis is chief anesthesiologist at this medical facility in Gainesville. His staff had little to say. I was asked not to come with him. But U.S. authorities are speaking out because they fear the doctor, who volunteered at summer camps in the area, may have victimized other children. All right, back here live now. I can tell you that some of the doctor's neighbors refused to go on camera tonight. They all, in essence, said the same thing. They are floored and shocked. In Gainesville, Lori Nixon, CBS 46, Atlanta's News Channel. A wild police chase puts the brakes on an inmate on the run. CBS 46 cameras were rolling moments after police captured Michael Donnelly near Dallas. The great getaway started when he stole an unmarked sheriff's car while on a work detail. CBS 46's Kim Fettig is live at the Douglas County Jail where Donnelly is back behind bars tonight. Kim. Stephanie, a career criminal, Michael Donnelly, is locked up right here behind me tonight on forgery charges. But after a two-hour, two-county wild ride, he may be facing more time than when he started. Police cars seem to dash through back Paulding County roads in every direction. Troops staked out an overpass and went into area woods on foot, canvassing neighborhoods with a picture of this man, Michael William Donnelly. We assume him to be uh, dangerous at this point. Show me the picture and all, so I hope they catch him for dark. The hunt lasted about two hours, and then one young deputy ended Donnelly's run. Good job, guys. Good job. I was just lucky to draw. I was scanning the area one moment, and he was knelt down on a knee. Once I got a, a visual on the subject, I gave him verbal commands to lie flat on the ground and place his hands behind his back, and which he did. Donnelly's escape started in Douglas County, where he was on work detail at a landfill. He stole an unmarked sheriff's car, was spotted in Spalding County, and chased. He ditched the car, ran off on foot, and hitchhiked to this convenience store. The same store where Spalding County deputies handed Donnelly back over to Douglas County. The only thing he did say was, I guess it's time to go back. And the question he asked was, was I going to Paulding County or was I going to Douglas County? Back here live, this is not Donnelly's first time behind bars. Over the years, he has served time for everything from theft to making false statements to authorities. But one thing is certain tonight, he will not be on work detail here in Douglasville anytime soon. We're live in Douglasville. I'm Kim Fettig, CBS 46, Atlanta's news channel. And new tonight at 11 News, Chopper 46 in the air tonight to show you video of I-85 southbound shutdown at Indian Trail Road. 
two people were seriously hurt in this accident and are in the Gwinnett Medical Center at this hour. You can see a car trapped under the semi. Investigators are not saying yet what caused this wreck. The highway is reopened now after being closed down for almost three hours tonight. In another story you'll see only on CBS 46 tonight, our investigators uncover plenty of products containing the supplement ephedra, even though a government ban went into effect yesterday. The FDA tells CBS 46 the ban includes only health or weight loss supplements with ephedra or ephedrine. 155 deaths have been linked to those supplements. In today's investigation, CBS 46 found only one dietary supplement with ephedra still for sale. But you should know that ephedra can still be sold in over-the-counter medications and decongestants. CBS 46 News asked a pharmacist for some helpful information. Anything that's labeled as ephedrine or ephedra, uh, those type products should ring bells that you should use with caution because they can have, if taken incorrectly, you can have heart attack, stroke, uh, increased blood pressure and things like that. So. Uh, any, any products that say ephedrine or stimulant you want to use with care. The FDA says there are no punishments for stores still selling ephedra. Each investigation is taken on a case-by-case -case basis. With tax day bearing down, federal watchdogs warn tonight to beware of crooked tax preparers. You saw the story first on CBS 46 at 5. A federal grand jury has released a 25-count indictment against two Stone Mountain tax preparers who worked out of a Decatur office. Authorities expect to arrest Deborah Thrower and Shoshana Payton shortly for doctoring their clients' returns. The Treasury Department says beware. If preparers won't sign your return but ask you to sign a blank return, beware if a preparer promises to get you a bigger refund, and beware if a preparer charges a fee based on the size of your refund. Tonight, President George W. Bush said he did not know about the September 11th attacks beforehand. That had I had any inkling whatsoever that the people were going to fly airplanes into buildings, we would have moved heaven and earth to save the country. The president also spoke tonight about Iraq and the 9-11 investigation in a primetime news conference. You likely saw the speech right here on CBS 46. We have extensive live team coverage still ahead. Minutes away, CBS 46 is going to take you live to Washington for some reaction to the president's speech. Plus, did the president sway any public opinion tonight? We're live with Atlanta's reactions. Live team coverage is still ahead. New tonight, the ACLU is challenging new laws aimed at controlling protests during the G8 summit this June in Savannah. Violent protests have marred past G8 gatherings. The ACLU is contacting officials in Savannah, Brunswick, and surrounding counties in South Georgia to protest fees that must be paid for protesters to organize. The ACLU calls that an illegal tax of free speech. CBS 46 will be your home for complete live coverage of this historic summit in June and any protests that develop. Tonight, the FBI wants your help finding this man. He struck the SunTrust Bank on Jonesboro Road in Forest Park. He had cornrowed hair and wore a Braves cap. He and one or two accomplices drove off with the cash. A dive marker may have gone off. If you know him or have seen him, call the FBI. Wild weather puts spring and hibernation hitting the south with one more dose of winter. More than four inches of snow fell in the western part of Tennessee. The same winter storm forcing temperatures to drop near freezing here in Georgia. A live look right now in Dunwoody where Gene I'm not a meteorologist, but that looks like <laughs> snow to me falling. <laughs> That's right, Stephanie. It is rain mixed in with a few flakes of snow. Our Storm Tracker 46 live camera atop the King and Queen building is not <laughs> surprising us. Well, it is surprising us that we're actually seeing snow flurries right now. And across far north Georgia, there could even be some accumulations of snow. But it's very windy as well in Gainesville as the temperatures drop. Look at those flags really blowing in the breeze. The wind's over 20 miles an hour with higher gusts. Right now in Douglasville, a cold rain is falling there. And a live look across Midtown shows the windy, cold conditions with light rain primarily. The reason we're seeing the snow flurries mixed in is because up above the ground, well, the air is below freezing and what is falling is coming down as a mixture of rain and some snow flurries. Our Storm Tracker 46 radar indicates that with this blue coloring here you see across North Georgia. So north of Rome over to Dahlonega, likely seeing a little bit of accumulation in some higher elevations, although we're not expecting any accumulations here in Atlanta. It's just cold. 39 in Mableton with a cold rain, 37 in Chambly, 36 College Park. 
And would you believe it? April 13th, and we're talking about wind chills. 29 in Marietta, 31 in Chambly, 32 in Mableton, 28 in College Park. That's how cold it feels. Again, the reason it's so cold, because of an unusually southerly dip in our jet stream all the way down into the south. Low pressure here, sitting and spinning, bringing the moisture in into the cold air and changing the rain into snow flurries, as we said, across North Georgia. Storm Tracker 46 weather in your neighborhood shows that after tonight, we will slowly begin to warm up. You'll wake up tomorrow, 32 in Rome, 32 in Gainesville, 33 in Atlanta, and we will see some sunshine finally. Get rid of some of these clouds, let the sun come out. April sun is pretty strong, but we won't get to see temperatures warmer than maybe 57 for Ackworth, 56 in Canton, 57 in Powder Springs. These temperatures are about 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. 60 in Sargent, not like April neighborhoods to our southwest and to our southeast. 58 in Forest Park and 58 in Covington, Jackson, 59 degrees. And again, lots of sunshine by 5 o'clock, but we'll have to work to get to that. 57 in Alpharetta, 57 in Decatur, and 56 in Suwannee. The Storm Track of 46 seven day forecast shows that we warm up Thursday up to 71, Friday 73, Saturday 75, and Sunday back where we should be, really more like April by then. Now you can track the rain in this April snow right from your home computer. Just go to our website, cb36.com, down the free program, instantly brought to us by Scanner Energy. And of course, with John Doyle tomorrow morning on Good Morning Atlanta for the latest on this cold winter blast. CBS 46 News is just getting started. More fighting in Fallujah. U.S. Marines come under attack. CBS 46 has the video to show you what happened. A tragic crash kills a mother, and her five-year-old girl is left to survive on her own for more than a week. Caught on camera tonight, firefighters rush to rescue two girls from a raging river. Do they make it in time? And another mess for Michael Jackson. It's another case and another child. CBS 46 has the new details tonight. You're watching CBS 46 News. Breaking news, breaking stories, breaking habits. CBS 46 closed captioning is sponsored by Dodge. Wednesday on Good Morning Atlanta, traffic issues are on the governor's plate. How he plans to ease the jams. And you'll wake up to a cold morning. Check your storm track of 46 weather starting at 455 on CBS 46. The Tournament Buicks, driven by the pros and officials at the Bell South Classic, are here. They're available now with exceptional factory-to-dealer discounts on top of 4,000 total cashback on Buick's brand-new luxury SUV Rainier. 4,000 on the remarkable rendezvous. Tournament vehicles, factory-to-dealer discounts, plus great cashback. Get into your greater Atlanta Buick dealer. Fido set on fire. These dogs owner tells police what, why he doused the dogs and lit the match. You're watching CBS 46. This is Atlanta's news channel. There is where your socks is going. Oh, I knew it. I knew someone was stealing the socks. Prove it. You know that camera phone thing's too complicated. Oh, hi. Can you help me out here, please? Here. Excuse me. Sprint made picture mail right. It's easy to take and send pictures anywhere on your complete wireless network because they build it from the ground up. It's great. Case closed. Now buy one Sprint PCS Vision picture phone for $129.99 and get one free. Sprint PCS. What a great way to start your work day. With music instead of talk, turn on B98.5 FM for more than two hours of commercial free music every weekday morning starting at 830. Soft rock by artists like Bill Collins, Matchbox 20, Celine Dion. Then it's 50 minute music hours all day. So start your work day and spend your work day with B98.5 FM. Storm Tracker 46 weather is sponsored by AirTran. Grandma and Grandpa are here. Hi! <laughs> We're so glad that you could make the trip. Thank you for the tickets. It's going to be a great week together. Hey, do Come on, let's go. We'll call you when we land. Land? Where are they going? Don't leave us with the babies! Don't leave us with the babies! 
For more information on Florida, visit FLAUSA.com. The city of Fallujah is a hotbed of fighting tonight and the focus of Operation Vigilant Resolve. At least one Marine was killed by mortar fire today. The other casualty, an American soldier who died in an attack on a convoy headed for Najaf. 83 U.S. troops have been killed in the past two weeks. Ground fire brought down this American MH-53 Pavlo helicopter near Fallujah. Three crew members were injured. Insurgents then ambushed the force sent in to rescue them. Underway tonight to identify four mutilated bodies found in Iraq. The State Department believes they may be four American contractors taken in an assault on a convoy outside Baghdad. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Great to see you. Hey. How, How you doing, doing hey, sir? How are you? Tonight, Lithia Springs' favorite military son, Ron Young, here in the suit, says he has a lot to be thankful for, and he said thank you today to two Marines who took part in his rescue in Iraq one year ago tonight. They appeared with Young and another former POW, Shoshana Johnson, on the early show here on CBS 46 this morning. Iraqis captured Young after his helicopter was shot down last April. Stay with CBS 46. We're continuing coverage of Operation Vigilant Resolve. Wake up with Good Morning Atlanta from 4.55 to 7 a.m. for new overnight developments. Well, tonight, President George W. Bush says we will, quote, stay the course in Iraq. The president spoke in a news conference you saw here on CBS 46 this evening. We have live team coverage with reaction. Renee Starzik watched with a group of Atlantans. But first, let's go to Patty Davis in our CBS 46 Washington Bureau for some reaction from the Capitol tonight. Patty. Well, Stephanie, the tough week in Iraq dominated the president's news conference, the focus of a lengthy opening statement and questions from reporters. It was billed as a primetime press conference, but it started with an address to the nation. President Bush eager to calm a public jittery about Iraq. Now is the time. And Iraq is the place in which the enemies of the civilized world are testing the will of the civilized world. We must not waver. The president is working to defuse two major issues there, rising casualties and escalating violence. <laughs> April has been the deadliest month for coalition troops since the fall of Baghdad, and there has been a rash of kidnappings. But the president says the U.S. is making progress. The nation of Iraq is moving towards self-rule, and Iraqis and Americans will see evidence in the months to come. The stakes are clearly high for the president in this election year. He's running on his national security record. But polls show a growing number of Americans are questioning his handling of Iraq. There have also been questions about a memo now declassified that the president received one month before 9-11, warning that Osama bin Laden wanted to strike in the United States. This was a summary. Now, in the uh, what's called the PDB, uh, there was a warning about bin Laden's desires on America. But frankly, I didn't think that was anything new. And he was asked about the work of the 9-11 Commission and if anything could have been done to prevent the attacks. There are some things I wish we'd have done when I look back. I mean, hindsight's easy. It's This was the president's first primetime press conference since just before the Iraq war. A sign the White House feels it needs to go on the offensive as troops go on defense in Iraq. In Washington, Patty Davis, CBS 46, Atlanta's News Channel. And here in Atlanta, CBS 46 gathered a group of viewers to watch the primetime speech. Renee Starzik continues our team coverage with their reaction. Tony, all across the Metro TV sets were tuned in to the president's address, including those here at the Varsity Drive-In. Folks here anxious to dish out their opinions. Better equipped to respond, better at sharing intelligence, but we've still got a lot of work to do. There's not much he can say that's really going to comfort me. It's just, it's got to handle itself. An auto mechanic from Noonan, Rob Hale, among those who caught the president's address here at the varsity tonight. He watched, but wasn't convinced. Neither was Augusta police officer Dwayne Flowers, though he says he didn't need to be. You know, my thoughts are it's necessary that we're over there, and, he's, and what he's doing is the right thing. But the mission is an important, vital mission for the security of America. He still seems to be reaching for reasons that, you know, we're not safe and, and uh, America's better off because of what has happened, lives are being lost. 
I'm not getting a clear answer from him right now. Skip Williams, a small business owner from Detroit, came hungry for information, but left disappointed. And the world is better off without Saddam Hussein. One of the most outspoken ones we found, not in front of a television. This Chicago school teacher explains why she tuned out tonight. I feel he's a liar. He's a liar. He took us to war and he killed our boys. Some strong opinions tonight here at the Varsity. If the president's appearance was designed to sway opinions here, at least, that didn't seem to be the case. Those who walked in supporting the president's policies in Iraq and those who walked in opposing them left exactly the same way. Reporting live in Midtown, Renee Starzik, CBS 46, Atlanta's News Channel. The FBI failed miserably. That's what we're hearing tonight from the commission investigating what our government knew before 9-11. It's supposed to be the country's lead agency in counterterrorism, but the 9-11 Commission says the FBI was remiss in collecting, analyzing, and sharing terrorist information within the Bureau and other agencies. I could reconvene this. It found a long-standing problem of agents not understanding or reacting to terrorist threats. Former Attorney General Janet Reno testified that was a huge challenge. We found stuff in files here that the right hand didn't know what the left hand was doing. Former FBI Director Louis Free took issue with the findings, saying budgetary constraints often made it difficult to hire qualified people or get the sufficient resources needed. We had a very effective uh, program with respect to counterterrorism before September 11th, given the resources, in my view, and given the authorities that we had. One day before the attacks, the report says Attorney General John Ashcroft rejected an FBI request for more counterterrorism money. The former acting FBI director told the commission he briefed Ashcroft twice about possible attacks. Mr. Ashcroft told you that he did not want to hear about this anymore. Is that correct? That is correct. I did never speak to him saying that I did not want to hear about terrorism. I care greatly about the safety and security of the American people. And Ashcroft said the nation's intelligence community was blinded by draconian government restrictions before 9-11 that didn't allow the agencies to connect the dots. CBS 46 also learned tonight the 9-11 Commission interviewed the CIA analyst who wrote that controversial August 2001 presidential briefing that talked about Osama bin Laden. That may help this commission figure out how much the White House knew prior to 9-11. Two girls get stuck. Their daring rescue caught on camera. Plus, a shocking case of cruelty. You won't believe what animal lovers say a man did to his own puppies. You're watching CBS 46. This is Atlanta's News Channel. Ready for a 5 o'clock newscast that's more hard-hitting than any other in Atlanta? CBS 46. That redefines what's happening now live and on the spot? It's on CBS 46. That breaks big stories, the kind that can protect your family? CBS 46, again. A newscast with Storm Tracker 46, Atlanta's most accurate neighborhood forecast. CBS 46. A newscast that takes a backseat to no one when it comes to Atlanta's most important stories. CBS 46 News at 5. Breaking news. Breaking stories. Breaking habits. Now, the other guy gave me this much and charged me this much. AT&T promises big savings, but their math doesn't add up. For unlimited calling and dial-up internet, they charge $61.90 a month. With Bell South, it's actually less. Now I get this much for this much. So where are the savings? Apparently, with Bell South. Bell South, listening, answering. Cherokee, Wrangler, Liber... Strange. How did you get that Liberty down? Um, I, uh... Wait, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Want the ability to go anywhere? Then get to your Jeep dealer for 0% financing or a $2,000 cash allowance on Liberty, plus our powertrain limited warranty. Great products, great protection, great deals. It all adds up to the best values in America. A fraternity suspended after claims of racism on the Georgia State campus. New developments will make news tomorrow morning. And our Good Morning Atlanta crew is already working the story for you tonight. Get a live report when you wake up. Plus, Storm Tracker 46 weather and instant traffic updated every 10 minutes from 4.55 to 7 a.m.
actually, Brad, second Ford truck. In fact, Ranger has more repeat buyers than any truck in its class. During Ford Spring Sales Event, get 0% for 60 months or 4,000 cash back. That's 0% for 60 months or 4,000 cash back on the truck Brad loves even more than his own mother. Sister. But I do love the truck. Well, there you have it. Don't miss Ford Spring Sales Event. Get any two Arby's chicken sandwiches for just $4. Now that's a great deal. Two incredible chicken sandwiches for just $4. Hurry, it won't last long. Why do my craft singles taste so good? The Dairy Fairy mixes up the milk with a little magic. Kids know about taste. They don't know that Kraft American singles have double the calcium. Double the calcium of many other American slices. The Storm Tracker 46 Weather Team. State of the art technology alerts you to changing conditions in your neighborhood. Late day showers moving in. Accurate, reliable forecasts. The Storm Tracker 46 Weather Team. Faster than the weather. Caught on camera tonight, two girls can thank the Reno, Nevada Fire Department for giving them a lift. They were rafting when their inflatable craft sprang a leak. Twelve-year-olds found themselves trapped on a rock. Firefighters got to them after about an hour and brought them back to safety. Well, we're happy to say these dogs are recovering tonight, but their owner is in some deep trouble. New Jersey police say the owner claimed he was drunk when he doused the dogs in WD-40 and set them on fire. A tip brought officers to the home in time. The dogs are at a shelter tonight. The owner is in jail. Quite a story tonight out of Southern California. Rescuers have found a five-year-old girl alive ten days after she and her mother wrecked near Banning, California. Highway workers found the girl walking around the car where her mother's body was. They gave the girl apples and water until the rescuers came. And new tonight at 11, Michael Jackson faces a new child abuse allegation. Los Angeles police are investigating the new claim of abuse dating back from the late 1980s. They're not releasing details on this accuser. Jackson's lawyers haven't responded to this new claim tonight in a separate investigation. Jackson already denies molesting a cancer-stricken boy at his Neverland Ranch in California. You're watching CBS 46. This is Atlanta's News Chat. Question. When is a deal really a deal? When it's an accord from Honda. When it's IntelliChoice's best overall value for 2004. And one of Car and Driver's 2004 10 best picks again. And now for $239 a month? Question answered. Now you can lease an Accord LX for $239 a month for 36 months. Put your hands together as Verizon Wireless presents the Kia Sarah SE 47 slide phone. It's sleek, it's small, it's got speaker phone, all for just $49.99. Plus, join in now and call any Verizon Wireless customer anytime, absolutely free from our national in-network coverage area without using any of your planned minutes. So get into the groove and get a new Kia Sera SC47 today. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Nothing will make a driver more faithful to a car than a car that is faithful to its driver. CBS 46 Sports is sponsored by your local Toyota dealer. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a new Tacoma. Four doors, seats five, 61-inch bed, fender flares. I think tow over two tons. Honey? No, really. It can tow over two tons. Not to mention, carry almost a ton in the back. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Get over it already. See your Toyota dealer today for up to 1,000 cash back on tough and rugged 04 Tacoma models. With so many exclusive features, when you compare the new GMC Envoy XUV to the competition, oh wait, there is no competition. Professional grade engineering. It's not more than you need, just more than you're used to. See the new Envoy XUV exclusively at your Greater Atlanta GMC dealers. 
Now, CBS 46 Sports. With Joe Tyree on a Tuesday night, and Barry Bonds continues to make history. This just in. The center of the diamond. High drive. There it goes. And then there were three. Home run number 661 for Barry Bonds moves into third place ahead of his godfather, Willie Mays. Now he only trails Babe Ruth and Atlanta's Hank Aaron. The home run comes off of Ben Ford of Milwaukee. 4 2 Giants in the eighth inning. Way to go, Bear. Well, we still can't get our fill of Phil. Phil Milkerson, that is. Lefty won the Masters, his first major on Sunday. Spent the night and most of yesterday in Augusta, GA. He traveled to his native San Diego on his home course, La Jolla, today, Tony Harris. And he and his lovely wife, Amy, met with the media. And here's Amy talking about the story of Phil sleeping in the Masters green jacket the night of his great feat at Augusta. Phil had his um, shorts on, his T-shirt, and the jacket, and his ball hat, and it was just a great night. And yeah, we did. It was me, Phil, and the green jacket right there, right by our side. And um, I don't know. We might be sleeping with that green jacket for a while. <laughs> I'm going to be working hard in the next majors because I feel like after that hurdle has been accomplished of, of getting past that first one, I feel like the second one's going to be a little bit easier. I won't be forcing it as much as I have maybe in the past. All right, the Southwest DeKalb High School drumline pumping up the volume. Big announcement today that Bank of America will become the title sponsor of Black College Football's biggest game, the Atlanta Football Classic, September 25th, featuring the Rattlers of FAMU and Tennessee State in the Georgia Dome. Gil Tyree, CBS 46 Atlanta's news channel. The news continues after this. Enjoy it out there. Oh, I will. Go we'll get him. <laughs> the new 2004 Discovery with permanent four-wheel drive and a powerful V8 engine. First timers. You got to love them. Begin your adventure at a local Land Rover Center. The 2004 Discovery. Available for 0.0 APR financing. What a great way to start your work day. With music instead of talk, turn on B98.5 FM for more than two hours of commercial free music every weekday morning starting at 8.30. Soft rock by artists like Elton John, Journey, Sheryl Crow. Then it's 50 minute music hours all day. So start your work day and spend your work day with B98.5 FM. Hang on, little doggy. These guys take a sacred ritual a little over the edge. You're watching CBS 46. This is Atlanta's News Channel. It's inspired, but is it more than a car? Yes. Does it have the government's highest crash test rating? Yes. Does all-wheel drive make it more than a minivan? Yes. Does a lower stance make it well beyond the SUV? Yes. The Chrysler Pacifica. Can you see it now? Yes, during premiere days beginning Friday, April 23rd. Call your local Chrysler dealer for details. Chrysler, inspiration comes standard. Ah! Rack rooms, buy one, get one 50% off sale. Ah! For people who really love shoes. Stop in now through April 19th and check out our wide selection of shoes for the entire family. Rack Room Shoes. Why stop at one pair? It may feel like the first time, but it's actually Earl's third Ford truck. This happy camper just got 0% financing on the 2004 F-150. Motor Trend's truck of the year. Thanks, Earl. During Ford Spring Sales Event, get 0% financing for up to 60 months or up to 3,000 cash back on F-150 Heritage. So don't miss Ford Spring Sales Event. It's not a real mic. I'm aware of that. A rare April snow across North Georgia that could be as much as an inch, especially in higher elevations. The good news, it's all going to be gone by tomorrow morning. We'll wake up to 33 degrees with clouds exiting, but it will still remain unusually cool. Our high of 58, check in at 455 for the latest with John Doyle and Good Morning Atlanta.
table, isn't it? <laughs> Finally tonight, hang on for dear life. This is not the log ride uh. at Six Flags. This is an actual ancient Japanese ritual. Brave or very crazy men, depending on how you want to look at it, try to ride a giant log down a steep, steep slope. It's tough, and if you fall off, look out. You don't want to be in the path of the next log coming down the hill. <laughs> All right, it's time to go. Thank you for watching CBS 46, Atlantis News Channel. David Letterman is next. Tears of joy or manipulation. <laughs> A new Survivor Shocker, CBS Thursday. From new